This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. And by RLS, original, patented, proven. How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to share some updates that I've got for you. One, I hired a full-time apprentice and I've done some upgrades to my truck and also purchased a new enclosed trailer. Let's go check it out. So this is the new apprentice, this is Trevor. What's up guys? And uh, he's actually worked with me for the past few summers over the years when he was in high school. So he's graduated now. And uh, so now we're doing full time. We're gonna get everything going on this system. But I wanted to show you the truck and the trailer. So let's go check out that now. All right, so here is the new trailer. And I got a new topper for the truck. I'll open that up here in a second to show you what's all inside there. But this trailer is a seven foot tall, so it's extra tall. It's seven feet wide and it's 16 foot long. Of course, it's got the standard walkthrough door here with a ramp gate in the back. So that way we can wheel package units and equipment and whatever else inside. And let me show you this new topper that I got. It's the Lear. And I actually picked this up used off of uh, Marketplace. So it came off a truck just like mine, but it was silver. That's why it's not painted to match. But I am going to get that painted, so it will be matching here shortly. But it's nice because you got this actually locks here with the key fob with the truck. So with the click of a button, everything is locked up. Let me open this up. Let me go ahead and open the tailgate up and show you what I've done inside so far. So I've got the deck system, which is nice because it's got these two big drawers. Right now, it, they're not fully organized, but the way I'm doing it is I have parts and materials on the passenger side and on the driver side is where I put all my tools. So this is gonna take some time to really get all this situated and organized. But for now, I just kind of got everything where I need it to be. And then I still utilizing this plywood as a slide out if I need to slide it out, but mainly so I can attach things without drilling into the actual deck system. I don't want to do that yet. So right now, um, I actually have a Milwaukee pack out tool bag that locks into place right here. So that's what I've converted to. I'm no longer using that Vito uh, backpack, as of right now at least. I'm kind of trying this out. So the bag clicks in there. I don't have to worry about it moving around. And then this is my, my quick little service bag that I use for you know, maintenances or just to go check something quickly. And it's got the, uh, the clip on the back. So that clip just clips onto the bag right there and that's basically where it lives. So easily open, open up this door and grab the bag that I need, depending on what I'm doing. So this works really well. I've had it for about a week now, I believe, set up this way. And again, I'm trying to keep everything out of the actual cab and everything back here. So, and then as you can see, I just came up with this idea with the tanks. I wanted a way to secure them easily without having to strap them down and climb in and out of the bed, I'm trying to not have to do that. So what I did is I just put this, these are little one by one, or little one bys, uh, screwed down to the plywood to create a little, um, a little valley, if you will, to where the tanks just fit in there perfectly. They can't go side to side. And oddly enough, so I've got, you know, two refrigerant tanks, one recovery tank, and the nitrogen tank here, as you can see. And when they're laying here, like I'm, I'm pushing, they're all the way snug against the back of the truck. And then once I close this tailgate, it's, if you can see that, it's actually perfect. So there's no way these tanks can move forward, backward, side to side. And uh, man, really liking that. And the way that I'm gonna be, um, I don't have it yet, but what I plan on doing is if I need to get to that rear tank, I can either just climb in here because I keep this side open. I can just climb back there, get what I need, or 
Uh, I was thinking about getting like one of those filter grabbers that extends out so I can just, you know, slide these out of the way, grab my filter hook and then pull it out. So it's kind of an option that I thought about, but so far, man, that's, uh, it's working out really nice. So if I come over here, um, you know, I'm going to slide this out so you can see what I'm doing. So what's really neat about uh, this setup is what I can do is I can actually pull these drawers out and, and then slide the wood out. And it basically gives me support underneath. Um, I'm going to get on this other side. So you, I basically can just slide this out as far as it'll, it'll allow me with the trailer hooked up. And now I can get access to, I got the vacuum pump here. Um, and this top box is, is empty now, but it's going to be set up with all my screws, wire nuts, um, you know, wire ties, zip, zip ties, anything that I need for service calls. That's what's going to be in there. So I've got my vacuum pump here. I've got the recovery machine right behind it. Then this is the electronic leak detector and my scales. And then this is my vacuum pump set up here, which has got my, all my hoses, core removal tools, micron gauge, uh, the whole nine yards. So I'll just, and that's in a, uh, a mount here, as you can see. So that won't move. And these don't move at all because they have rubber feet on the bottom. Both of these machines do. So, and the way that I have it all sitting in here, they don't move at all. So this works out really nice. And again, my main tool bag locks into place here. And then my little service bag clips onto it. So it's all easy to get to. You know, I, I thought about how I wanted everything. Things that I get to the most, I want it to be in the very back. And then things that I don't use as often, they go towards the front of the vehicle. So, and then also just to note that this plywood is, is more for me just testing out this whole system to see if this is what I want to do long term. And if it is, I'm going to do away with the plywood and I'm going to get an actual cargo glide. That way it's nice and robust. It slides out. It holds its own weight. And um, I'm going to get the one. Well, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, they only make one that is designed to go on top of a deck system. And it doesn't give you the full 100% access. I think it, go, it, it pulls out 70%, which is still fine. Because, I mean, if you think about it, this is probably 50% and I can get to everything I need to get to just fine. So, um, obviously the trailer is gonna stop me from pulling it out all the way, but this is mainly service-based stuff anyway. Um, I'm gonna be having all of these tools, I'm gonna have a separate set that goes into the trailer, so that way the trailer gets pulled for an install, it has everything it needs, and I don't really have to pull anything out of the back of the truck. At least that's the concept so far. All right, so now I'm gonna take you inside the trailer and what I've done so far, which is not a lot, but I'm gonna start at the very front. Um, I don't know if you've seen my old trailer, but I had a huge job box that was right there. And it just seemed like it collected everything. It was not organized and it was just massive. I did not like it. So I learned from that and this is what I've come up with so far. And I'm going to be constantly adjusting, but so right now, as you can see, I've got three, three drawers on the bottom, and then I have a row of two drawers. I'm missing one. That's on order. So there will be another two drawer there as well. And then you got two crates there, and there's going to be two crates there, and then uh, possibly one more in the middle. So the idea is I don't have to remove anything from those bottom as far as removing the boxes. I can just open the drawers, get the parts that I need, and lock, you know, close it back up, and everything is secured very well to the floor. They're rock solid. So, so far, I've used this trailer for um, a couple jobs, and I'm liking it so far. It's really nice. Um, I don't have it fully decked out yet. I don't have it fully organized, but this is the concept. So eventually, um, you know, once I get everything organized, I'm going to get the label maker out and label each little door. So that way there's no guessing. You walk up, you slide it open, get what you need. 
and uh, get to working. So, you know, like an example here, I'll open this up. You know, I've got PVC fittings inside this drawer here. So obviously I'll label that one PVC. Um, I've got some miscellaneous stuff here like silicone, rags, um, that sort of thing. But that's basically how I'm going to be organized all of the parts that I need for installs. Um, you know, all of my copper RLS fittings, gas pipe fittings, um, they're all going to be organized within those. And then the crates will be more set up for the bigger items like cloth strap, tape, um, you know, things like that. Um, like this one's full of extension cords. This one's full of drop cloths. So that way I just have everything that I need to, uh, to do these jobs. So uh, coming over here, I've got a vertical E-track, as you can see there. And then I just got a couple of uh, mounts. So three quarter half inch seal tight goes on the top. I got some, you know, three eighths, seven eighths copper there now. Um, this is just for this job. But I, I got this mount here for the set of torches. So it's actually not even on the ground. So it rides right there. Um, that's kind of a temporary thing just to put the bucket. And you can see the workbench there. So this is actually going to get moved. I'm going to put the workbench over here. Because uh, this whole wall, as you can see, the E-track there, that's going to be designed to uh, secure all of my equipment. So this dolly won't even be there. This, that's just a temporary thing. Um, I just basically, I want this whole wall open for securing, you know, equipment and large um, materials that I'm taking to a job. So I want that to be all open. And then, uh, as you can see here, I've got a lot more track that I have to install. Uh, right now, this big box has got all of my power tools, all the Milwaukee, um, all the different drills and saws and just everything that I own all packed in there. That's temporary as well because what I'm going to be doing right here from the floor all the way up to the ceiling, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be putting in, uh, Milwaukee makes these um, platforms, if you will, that go into the E-Track and then you can basically put a box on it and then you can have another one, you can put a box on that, and you can have another one up here, and you put a box on that. So that way, if you want to get to that bottom box, you don't have to take everything out in order to get to that one. You can just take that one off, and you're good to go. So that's what I'm going to do with all my tools and all the accessories. I'll show that in, another, in a later video. But it'll be like a bunch of these boxes right here. So when you open it up, it'll have like a, a nail gun. It'll have all the nails, any accessories that I need. Um, you know, that sort of thing. So that's kind of my goal in that area right there. But, um, and then this right here, this is my, uh, my RLS box. So basically I can just grab this, go, go to the job, do whatever I need to do. But it's got everything I need accessory wise to be able to prep the copper, um, you know, mark it. It's got the batteries. It's got some small 3 8 fittings in here. And then when you take that out, you got the larger fittings down in there, the actual press tool itself, and all the jaws. So it's pretty convenient to have everything just in one compact box like that. You take it to the job, you do what you got to do. So um, that'll end up going on this, this, uh, this rack that I was talking about building right there. So that'll be like a tool rack, basically. Nothing but tools there, and then this will be all mainly uh, materials and parts for the job. But that's pretty much it for right now. Um, it's nice, wide, and open, and clean. I'm going to try to keep it that way. But I've got some uh, two-foot LED lights. I'll be putting one down there, probably three of them, so that way it's nice and lit in here. And uh, But yeah, and then once I build that tool rack that I'm talking about, it's going to be off the ground just a little bit, so that way I can slide this in front of it and then secure it to there, and that's where that will live. But, 
But yeah, this is what I'm working with so far on the trailer. Um, just trying to keep things nice and clean, easy to get to, to where you can just get what you need and get back on the job and, you know, be efficient with your time. That's, that's huge for me, being efficient. So yeah, that's it. That's the new trailer. It's all blacked out. That's the new, uh, the new theme, the new style that I'm going for now. So obviously the topper is going to be painted to match the truck. I've already got some ladder racks, uh, some crossbars that go on the top, but I, I keep them off uh, unless I'm going to be carrying a ladder. So, but yeah, this is, uh, you know, version number two or seven. I don't really know, but it's going to be constantly evolving and changing, making it better and better and better. But uh, I think the next step though, is after I work out of this for probably another month and uh, work out all the little kinks and, and uh, that sort of thing, I'll probably switch this over to an actual proper cargo glide. That way it looks nice, it's nice and strong, and uh, you don't have to worry about fooling with these for support. So, but so far that deck system, I love it. Um, it works really well for what I need it for. And this whole system is just working out nicely. Again, I keep this whole area open. That way I can put like a, a six foot ladder in here, or if I need to grab some materials for a job and I don't have my trailer, I wanna be able to still have some, some room for that. So anyway, this is how it is in its current state. How's it going over here, man? Right on. Looks good. We got one load side done. Looks nice and straight. Cool. Now we just need to connect this one. Run it down here. We'll get this uh, line voltage complete for the day. Be in good shape. So check out these new Milwaukee Packout totes. It's got a little handle on the top here that slides up. Dividers that you can remove if you want to. But it's great for when you're doing jobs like this where you need multiple parts, grab it from the truck, throw it in here. Um, and since it's pack out, it locks in to any of your other stuff, gives you a handle. It's pretty cool. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. I just wanted to take some time to introduce you to the new apprentice and show you some of the updates that I've had on the truck and the new trailer. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. I want to show you the little tool bag setup real quick. So as you can see here, the Vito bag just clips onto the front of the Milwaukee bag. So this works out well. All I have to do is just unclip it because it's a pack out. I don't have to worry about it moving around, sliding around the back of the truck and it's easy to get to it's right here in the very back and then whenever i need to do a quick service call i just grab my little quick bag right there and everything fits in there nicely